Okay, uh, good day to you, Ben. And welcome back to our lesson for this week. So, uh, we have already answered your uh, assignment. So, we are going now to proceed to your next lesson. And uh, your lesson for today is about multiplying mixed number with another mixed number. Okay? So, I will just uh, give some five items so that I won't take much of your time. But that, that's enough for me to explain what is uh, your lesson for today. Okay? So, let's start first with uh, a whole number multiplying with a mixed number. Let's show you how to multiply S or, or, or it. Okay? So, uh, let's start first. Uh, a whole number multiplied by a mixed number. Okay? So, we have here 8 times 2 and 1 4. Okay? So, let's have a whole number first multiplied by a mixed number. And we're gonna, we're gonna multiply the mixed number with another mixed number. Okay? So, to show you how to multiply this, 8 times 2 and 1 4, how do we do this? So, just simply change the mixed number into a proper or improper fraction. Okay? Again, to multiply this, change the mixed number into an improper fraction. Okay? How? By multiplying and adding. Okay? Multiply the denominator to the whole number, then add the numerator, copying the denominator. So, if we do this, 8 times, so if you multiply, 4 times 2 will be 8. Now, 8 plus 1 is 9. So, 9 here will be the numerator. And for each denominator, it's still 4. Okay? So, 2 and 1 4 became 9 and 9 over 4. Okay? How? Because we multiply and add. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 plus 1 is 9. 9 over 4. Okay? So, 2 and 1 4 became an improper fraction which is 9 over 4. So, we're going to multiply now. 8 times 9 over 4. So, how? By changing uh, 8, 8 here as a whole number into a a fraction how by putting one as each denominator why because eight divided by one is eight so we can now multiply nine over four okay so we can we can use the long method numerator times the numerator and denominator times denominator so we can use that but uh, to shorten the process, you can use cancellation method. You can cancel the bare process if they have a divisible number. So 8 and 4 here can divide in both by 4. Okay? While 9 is already 1. Okay? So 4 here will become 1. While 8 divided by 4 is 2. Okay? So 8 here is no longer 8 but 2 because we have times of their cross and 9 and 1 there is no problem. So we can now multiply 2 times 9 is 18 while 1 times 1 is 1 and 18 divided by 1 is 18. Okay? Therefore for our final answer is 18. Okay? So 8 times 2 and 1 fourth our answer is Okay, just change uh, the mixed number into an improper fraction. So let's, how about if we multiply now mixed number with another mixed number? Okay, let's multiply now. Uh, let's have 5 and 3 fifths. 5 and 3 fifths. Multiply. 
by 3 and 4 seconds. 3 and 4 seconds. Now, how do we do this? Simply by changing the mixed number into an improper fraction. Okay? How? By multiplying and adding. Multiplying and adding. When you multiply the denominator to its whole number and add its numerator. Let us do that. So, to change this into an improper fraction, Let's multiply and add. Now, 5 times 5 is 25. 25 plus 3 is 28. So we have here 28. 4 is numerator. And the denominator is 5. Okay? So we have 5 here. Times. Now, let's change this mixed number into an improper fraction. How? And keep multiplying and adding. So let's do that. Now 7 times 3 is 21. Now 21 plus 4 is 25. So we have 25 here for each numerator. And its denominator is 7. Okay? Now we have here uh, two improper fractions now. Okay? Now we can do the law method, numerator multiplied by numerator and denominator multiplied by denominator as the law method. But we can use the cancellation method uh, for uh, easier uh, for, for us to multiply it with it. Okay? So, how? By dividing their process with their uh, with a divisible number. Okay? So, here 5 and 25 can divide them both by 5. So let's divide. 5 divided by 5 is 1. While 25 divided by 5 is 5. Okay? So we have cancelled the 2. Now let's uh, cancel this uh, process because both of them can be both divided by 7. Okay? If you divide them, 7 divided by 7 is 1. Well, 7 divided by 8 is 9. Uh, 4, I mean. Okay? Sorry. It's 4. Okay? So, 7 times 4 is 8. So, we have here now 4 over 1 times 5 over 1. Okay? So, we are now multiplying to uh, improper fraction. So, let's multiply. Five, uh, 4 times 5 is 20. Five. 1 times 1 is 1. So we have here 20 divided by 1 is 20. Okay? So therefore, for our final answer, that's 20. Okay? So let's have some more examples. Okay? Let's uh, 3 and 3 fourths. Okay? 3 and 3 fourths times 2 and 2 thirds. Okay? 2 and 2 thirds. Okay? So we have 2 mixed number. We are multiplying 2 mixed number. So again, how do we do this? By changing the mixed number into an improper fraction. How? Multiplying and adding. Multiplying and adding. Okay? So, just simply multiply that. The denominator to each numerator plus each uh, uh, denominator multiplied by each whole number plus each numerator. Okay? So, let's do that. Uh, 4 times 3 12. So 12 plus 3 is 15. Okay. So we have 15 here for the for his numerator. And 
that we is the denominator which is 4. So we have 4 here. Times, uh, let's change this into an improper fraction. Let's multiply and add. Now 3 plus 2 is 6. Now 6 plus 2 is 8. So we have 8 here. Okay. Over 3 for each denominator. Okay. Now we have here now two improper fraction. We can use the long method, and but we can use the cancellation method to answer this quickly. Okay, so let's divide their process with a common divisible number. This one is uh, four. We can divide them both by four. Let's divide them. Four divided by four is one. While eight divided by four is two. Okay, so we have so 8 here is no longer 8 but 2 because we have cancelled uh, their cross. Now, here we have a divisible number, a uh, common divisible number which is 3 because we can divide them both by 3. Now, 3 here divided by 3 is 1, while 15 divided by 3 is 5. Okay, so we have 5 here. Now we have now. 5 over 1 times 2 over 1. So we can now multiply. 5 times 2 is 10. 1 times 1 is 1. And 10 divided by 1 is 10. Okay. Therefore, for our final answer, it's 10. Okay. So let's have another example. Uh, 3 and 3 okay. example number 4 let's have 3 and 3 multiplied by 2 and 2 thirds okay. 2 and 2 thirds okay. multiplying 2 mixed number so what to do first change the mixed number into an improper fraction how multiply and add so let's change this first into an improper fraction so let's multiply 8 times 3 is 24 now 24 plus 3 is 27 okay. we have 27 here for our numerator and 8 for our denominator okay multiply now let's change this into an improper fraction okay so let's multiply and add now 3 times 2 is 6 now 6 plus 2 8 so we have 8 here over 3 okay so we have two improper fractions already so we can now multiply now let's use cancellation method to answer it quickly okay uh, so here for this cross, we can divide them both by 8. So we divide 8 divided by 8 is 1, while 8 here divided by 8 is 1 also. Here, we can divide them both by 3. So let's divide 3 divided by 3 is 1. Now, 27 divided by 3 is 9. Okay. So we have now 9 over 1 times 1 over 1 because we have used the cancellation method. Now let's multiply 9 times 1 is 9. Well, 1 times 1 is 1. And 9 divided by 1 is 9. Okay? So for our final answer, now let's have one uh, last example. Okay? To wrap our lesson for today.
multiply by 2 and 2 fifths. Okay. Do the same process. Multiply in two mixed number. Multiply them. Change the first into an improper fraction. Now let's change them. Multiply and add. Now 8 times 4 is 32. So 32 plus 3 is 35. So we have 35 here for each numerator and 8 for each denominator. So we just copy. Now multiply. Uh, let's change this into an improper fraction. Multiply and add. Now 5 times 2 is 10. Now 10 plus 2 is 12. We have 12 here. Okay. Over 5. Okay. Now to answer this uh, swiftly, let's use the cancellation method. Okay. Let's divide them both. So it's a divisible number. Now here we can divide them both by 5. Now 5 divided by 1, uh, 5 is 1. Now 35 divided by 5 is 7. Okay, so we have 7. Next, here we can divide them both by uh, 4. Okay, now 8 divided by 4 is 2. While 12 divided by 4 is 3. So we have now 7 over 2 times 3 over 1. Okay. So we have now uh, 2, uh, two, two dissimilar fractions. Okay. Uh, let's multiply them. Numerator to numerator. 7 times 3 is 21. And each denominator, which is 2 times 1, is 2. So we have uh, 21 over 2. Now, let's change this into a mixed number. So we are going to divide 21 divided by 2. Okay? So, if we are going to divide 21 divided by 2, that's uh, 10 for the whole number. Okay? Because 2 times 10 is 20. So, 20, we have a remaining number which is 1. Okay? So, the remaining number will become each numerator and for each denominator that's 2 so we have 10 and 1 half for our final answer ok so that would be uh, that would, that, that's all for our lesson for today see you for our next lesson then thank you for your time